Welcome to the first episode of It Came From The Late, Late, Late Show. Uh, we record these shows really, really late. Uh, like, we're supposed to start at 10.30 Eastern Time on Sundays, and this game is supposed to be up Monday nights for people to view. Uh, we finished character creation, which took us about an hour, but what it took us to get everything set up, it took us until about 12 o'clock. So... Yeah, we did a, we uh, really late. <laughs> but don't let that discourage you. That's just because mm -hmm. Philip is a perfectionist. Yes, yeah, so if you can't tell from the map you're looking at, we Beautiful. legit did a lot of research on this. So he put here. this entire map together from memory. From a day and a half ago, I started putting everything all finally together on the World Twenty a day and a half ago, and he I studied Scooby Doo for hours. I studied. I watched. <laughs> All of Mystery Incorporated, uh, Monday, Monday and Tuesday. Then I went to work for the week, like usual, and I would come home, play this Flash game that took me four hours to beat so I can get the map that's up there and put all the icons in where they are based off of the TV shows. And then the ones that have no names, we made up names. Like Moogas. Because <laughs> yeah. that was a cow-based uh, burger joint, or That's why Take My Booty, which is a pirate-based burger joint that they didn't have a name for. I would eat there, honestly. I yeah, would. I would too. The guy's name Take My Booty. It sounds like a Absolutely. bad strip club for sure. In fact, that's why uh, that's why Velma's house is right across from Taste My Booty and Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta work your way through school. <laughs> um, a lot of these things are actual new names from the show. If you notice, there's Pirate Pizza, some, something cheesy, which is a cheesy restaurant. It's legit. You go there to buy cheese. Nice. Uh, it's something I would visit, but Cheesecake <laughs> Don't Factory forget is a construction. That's, everybody remembers that um, from the show. Planned Pizza from Outer Space, which is from the movies. Uh, Fruit Myers. Your Bloody Steak, which is uh, from the TV show. Uh, Ninja Slice, I just put a title there because it was like... Uh, we need to have a ninja if there's a pirate. <laughs> um, Farmer's Barrel of Krakenness, which is a reference to Cracker Barrel. The Crab Net, which is a fancy motel restaurant. Well, hotel restaurant. Um, the Crab Shack, which if anyone's watched a TV show, you know that is the crazy crab guy with one eye. Do you know what? I lost this eye. Oh, great. You got him talking. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's the crab monster. I swear. I swear he's the crab monster. And interestingly enough, the stoners live in between two pizza shops and two burger shops. Yes, they do. <laughs> and what's even funnier is the fact when they actually did the parents' backgrounds for the newer ones, since they didn't have parents and the old ones show up a lot. Um, <laughs> Shaggy Rogers actually owned, like his family was was very wealthy. Uh, we lost someone, didn't we? No, no, we did not. Yeah, we did. We lost, oh, yes, we did. um, Bri. Don't worry, he'll be back. He's still on the... Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, there, there I am. am. Welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. um... Weather. Yeah, they gave Shaggy's parents, um, wealth. Thomas' parents really aren't wealthy. Daphne's parents are from wealth. <laughs> Shaggy's parents are from wealth. Where his parents absolutely hate him because he's pretty much a druggie who sits at home and doesn't do anything. Um... <laughs> They legit tell him when he's stranded 
Well, you know what? Stay in your van. That's what you do all the, all the other times. And yeah. Freddy is the son to the mayor. Yeah. They did Freddy's family is pretty much the politicians. I, I told you this was going to be the grimdark version of uh, Scooby-Doo. This is the uh, old world of darkness, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey picks and so, proves. <laughs> now that we got a basic explanation of how this game came to be, and the reason why we're doing the late, late, late show, to show off this game and get people to play it again, uh, let's just go through and introduce ourselves. Um, I'm the director, as they call it, in the late, late, in the... I'm just not even going to say it over and over. I'm the director in this game called The Late Show. That, that way you don't have to say it a hundred times. Because that will be annoying. Like it is. <laughs> uh, that's also basically the GM. The way this game is, is you create an actor, as we have shown as in the previous videos. And you can actually see character sheets. And what you do is you get a film presented to you and you get to choose what role you want to take and you're thrown into this B-rate movie and you have to portray the character as your actor would. So say your actor is Keanu Reeves and you don't know anything. <laughs> well, these movies are going to be very entertaining. What? Oh, what? Oh. What? Whoa. Okay, next week we'll play Ninja Turtles. You're yeah, Raphael. yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> Raphael was really bad in that movie. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. No, excellent. Bill and Ted was a good movie. I should have insulted that movie. <laughs> this, uh, this whole game, by the way, is just an excuse for Philip to make us learn about his favorite TV shows. This is true. Not really, because we get to vote on what we're going to do each week. I just chose Scooby Doo because I was. Really hyped up about Scooby Doo recently. Well, and I was well like, at one yeah. point we have to do a Doctor Who episode. Huh? <laughs> at one point we have to do a Doctor Who episode. Oh, we do. I've I'm never a huge seen Doctor fan. Who. Sorry. Doctor Who <laughs> or Robin Hood or uh, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it is it's important to remember that in this game though, your act your characters are actually the actors and they just have these roles, which is interesting. Yep. This is true. Uh, anyone that has played with us before, um, or with me, you know whatever games I run, always have me playing a character in the game as well. Like, a GM, you play pretty much everybody, except for the player characters. But you do have an option, if you're a GM, to build a player character so you can play as him. Because hopefully we can get someone else later on to do a couple of sessions GMing. And then I won't know how the story will turn out, or the different possible endings, like, you know. <laughs> and uh, this, this game, by the way, has, like, a billion example monsters in the back. <laughs> yeah, and that's just the first book. Yeah, so if, you, if, you're, if you've ever felt like you wanted a game you did not have to buy a monster manual for, <laughs> this is it. Yeah, just try to find a place to buy it. Yeah, good but luck. <laughs> I should thank um, Noble Knightly Games, I believe is what they're called. If you go and you Google that, it will bring up Knight, Noble Knight Gaming, I believe is what it's called. Noble Knight something. Just Google it. But if you Google <laughs> Noble Knight and then say tabletop or role-playing game, it's going to bring you up this website where they sell really, really old modules and books that you can't get anywhere. But pretty much what it is is it's them buying it and then selling it back to someone else. So it's a very slim chance, but you might luck out, like uh, I did for my uncle's birthday gift, to get him the second book. I lucked out and got all three books off of uh, eBay. So As of yeah. this video, I think that website, that Noble Knight game, I think they actually have the core rule book on there, so, you know, hurry up, get yeah, going. Get it before it's gone, because... Pause the video, <laughs> and it open is. a new tab. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, um, basically we wanted to go around and talk about ourselves, which I've been talking about everything else than myself. <laughs> I like role-playing, I've been role-playing since I was seven, and I GM about two games, 
a month, not like two games per month, like they're weekly, but two different games. Uh, I do this while I am working, while I am doing school, uh, not during them, but you know, I plan them out throughout the week. I'm on a very rigid schedule. And I just really enjoy running games and telling stories, especially interactive ones where people can actually change the outcome. So that's me, uh, my character that I have for this game. I will pop her up for you. It's Amelia. I don't have any of her background stuff put in. She is pretty much a cheerleader type character. Best way to say it. And her main backstory, uh, I don't have it all fleshed out, but the idea of her is the fact that she wants to be able to support herself as someone independent, and she wants to enjoy her job, so she wants to be an actress. Which winds up on sci-fi shows, which basically is what she's on now. Just the more she does, the better she'll get into more films. Alright, so that's my character and my background. Uh, who wants to be next? I'll go. Alright. Uh, see, my name is Prawns, and my character is Noriko Narikawa, a horribly dubbed Asian female scientist. Because I figure every B movie has to have a horribly dubbed Asian female scientist. Um, as a player, I, I, I like role playing, and my personal opinion is that we should call this game L Free because there's free lates in the title. That's this all. Is true. <laughs> okay. I guess Andy will go next. All right. Um, my name's Andy. And uh, my character's name is Andy. And um, he is a hipster, a 19-year-old, moody, little piece of crap. And he thinks that because he got a lead role in a high school play, he can do his best in the Hollywood world and get into all those A-rated movies. But his career is going to crash and burn, and so he comes looking for work in a B-rated, or in a B-movie. And uh, he finds work, and now here we are. Sounds like Footy Jones. <laughs> he, he is really, he's really just role-playing himself there. 19-year-old hipster who's film career has crashed. I'm not 19. Uh, no, I'm not, guys. No, I'm not. God. Stop it. God, guys, I'm not that person. Oh. I actually am not a hipster, okay? I only own two Macs. <laughs> yeah, but he, watch how he doesn't deny the fact that his movie career has crashed and burned. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Who's the last right. person to do this? Is uh, well, Donkey Dick. That'd be me. <laughs> Donkey Dick. <laughs> okay. So well, they say the, the best for last. This is a mature audience video that people have to yeah. be like logged in to watch it. <laughs> if you're under the age of 13, please just close this YouTube video right now. Uh, <laughs> it says Scooby Doo does not mean it involves a child. Please. It's the Cartoon Network. This is not the child-friendly Scooby Doo, as you can tell. Or watch the Scooby-Doo movies, it is not a child-friendly Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Alright. Okay, well, uh, I'm Brian, uh, a.k.a. Blood Moon, a.k.a. Bri Bri, a.k.a. Bri Bri 9393, and I'm playing as Donkey Dixon, <laughs> the big, <laughs> the big dumb muscle head, uh, you know, reminiscent of the action stars like uh, Sylvester Stallone, and his main motivation is to get out of the porn business, which he's... <laughs> Really struggling to get out of right now because <laughs> he's really good at it. <laughs> and his man, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> his, his main acting style is basically just like beating the shit out of everything that gets in his way. <laughs> and he's always got the ulterior motive of most action stars to bang the hottest chick in the movie by, before the end of the film. At and least then, once. Uh, yeah, at least once. <laughs> No, no halfsies. Yeah. No halfsies. We do this full. <laughs> yeah, we go. We movie. go hardcore. Cut the scene. What? Yeah. Why? We're having, we're, we're having hardcore R-rated sex in the middle of this Scooby Doo movie. In a PG on a PG thirteen like maybe R-rated max on no, Sci-Fi no, Channel. Yeah, no, that won't screen. happen. This is the eyes wide shut of Scooby Doo movies. <laughs> the hills have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So we went through, we described ourselves, uh, we're about to actually start up this game. A quick explanation of this game, for people that are at home trying to figure this out. So, watch the character creation, it will explain most of it. But the basic premise, you have your base stats, you've got your skills. Now, say one of our characters is in a situation, say like, for example, Amelia's in a situation, and she's playing the role of... Uh, April O'Neil from the Turtles. And she has to convince Baxter, who is this crazy scientist that she worked for, that, you know, she really needs to go home because she left the stove on, which is an absolute bullshit excuse to leave when you know the guy is completely nuts and evil. But it is an excuse. So we roll 2d10s, also known as a d100. And you have to get 54 or lower because of her acting skill set for Amelia, not for the character. The character that she plays is just a face for the film. So you are your character. Not, you are your actor, not your character. And if your character in the film dies, that you means, die. yeah, you don't, your actor doesn't die. You could die in the film, and it could be like the most epic death, and you will get the most fame out of it at the end of the game. Which it would, it's pretty awesome because that's happened before in games I've played with Corey. <laughs> My uncle Corey's the one who introduced me to this, to uh, the Late Show game. But yes, I know it sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I'm a very nice GM. Shut up now. <laughs> but that is the basic of how it works. So it's a very simple system. It's pretty much like the D10 system, we, except for you, your successes are below the number, not above the number. So, it's very easy. Yeah, so for example, I have like, my handgun skill altogether is like 47, which is kind of low, which means I have to roll anything under a 47 if I want to actually shoot and do damage. Otherwise, you'll just end up shooting yourself in the foot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I shoot myself in the face and my acting career is over. It gets pretty dark. <laughs> yeah, but hopefully the, the crew put blanks in and not real bullets. Sometimes yeah. sabotage does happen. It's oh, happened in real life. <laughs> crow. Oh, the crow. Me in the bathtub and need all hair we lost a good actor hair. there, and then we got a really bad actor. <laughs> Moment of silence. <laughs> Moment of silence for the, uh... Role-playing game business, because we are about to destroy it after word gets out about this game. <laughs> Alright, so... We basically explained everything, so we're going to actually start off the show. And I apologize to anyone that says, You took that from that show, or you took that audio from this show. Yes, most of the audio is from Scooby-Doo, and some of the audio is from Family Guy. But, yeah. I'm only playing about 30 seconds, and... That is under the free user rights, because the Creative User Rights Act, and if YouTube has anything to say about it, we'll put this on Twitter and Vimeo, because I don't like YouTube anymore. <laughs> yeah, you got a problem, you got to answer to Donkey Dixon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right? <laughs> <laughs> so you best watch yourself. <laughs> I'm about to say video. that to someone who doesn't know about this game, and you're just like, Donkey, what? You're gonna answer the Donkey Dixon. What? What the hell is Donkey You can Dixon? call me Donkey Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Philip, take us away, dear sir. So, welcome to... Let me look up the... I lost my script. Hang on. Where did my script go? <laughs> this game is falling apart. <laughs> Under every single late show book. Congratulations. Yeah, Slow clap for the script. <laughs> I just stopped my late show. So, um, yeah, I just needed to say, just to start off to be a very weird day. So first, you know, I decided I was gonna make another creature for daddy. But then, I, I saw my brother and I asked, you know? Would you like to play a game? Yes, I asked that. And he responded, No, I would not like to play a game. I came to 
tell you. Daddy wants your scrawny ass. I know they'll love you. It's your fault. All oh, your fault. No, Get no, away. It, it was your fault. You tripped over the ladder. You killed me. They hate you. They all hate you. Even uh, we hate you. You ignorant brat. Oh, ignorant brat. Oh, I'm gonna show you an ignorant brat. You unconscious, self-righteous, little shit. Guess what? I'm gonna do that favor. I am gonna take a little demon child, and I'm going to make sure that you don't wake up. Not here. Well, the captain told me I have to read this, so I can have dinner. Please enjoy this show with me. This is some Saturday morning acid trip TV show. Sorry, kids, but you get to sit through Gooby Doo and the giant thingy of Crystal Cove. Crystal Cove. Is that where Jason died? Crystal Lake? Crystal Cove? Are you serious? Devil dogs? Devil dogs? Okay, I get it. Give the damn succubus stuck in a nerd's body some friggin' food from the devil. Well, you know what? You can all go And now return to the Scooby-Doo murder files. Gee whiz, gang. Looks like the killer gutted the victim, strangled him with his own intestines, and then dumped the body in the river. Jinkies, what a mystery. <laughs> You're right, Scoob. We're dealing with one sick son of a bitch. <laughs> so, before we start the shows, when it actually goes into doing the Scooby-Doo on next, it cuts you to the characters. Where they're gonna be sitting inside of a studio, 
and they get a casting sheet popped up, which is going to change each week, so if you see it, it will be different. Now, we only have five players, so that means that we aren't going to have Scrappy-Doo be inside the game. Originally, we had six. That no means one is upset. <laughs> exactly. That means we don't have to deal with an asshole. Whoever played him was supposed to play an asshole, and if they didn't, he probably wouldn't be known as Scrappy-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Like asshole, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Now, can the viewer at home see the notes you wrote about these characters? Because I just love that. Like. Yes, they can. I popped it up. Shaggy and Scooby are both addicted to food and weed. <laughs> Mascot and sniffer. Yeah, he sniffs. He sniffs it good. <laughs> he sniffs go glue, man. <laughs> That's not tuna. <laughs> oh, All right. So, let me grab the two D one hundreds. Well, D10s, I should say, not D100s. If I had two D100s, I would cry. <laughs> how the hell do you roll this? There's so many sides. Now check out Philip. He's going old school and using real dice. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. That's satisfying. So oh, that your director so for this film that comes up to you guys in the acting studio... <laughs> Got a 97, so he's like the worst type of director ever. Well, fuck. He comes in 15 minutes late. He is high as a kite, and you hear this voice. Yo, man, I just came up with this awesome script. It's based off of a Scooby-Doo TV show. <sighs> I'm sorry. It brings back childhood memories. <coughs> He takes a big whiff of his joint. <laughs> I can't remember what you call a pot plant when you smoke it. <laughs> and he looks at the actors. I have asked you all here because I just I have to make this movie, but it, it, it's not going to work as a PG movie or for kids. Screw the kids. We're all old now. We want to see some real Scooby-Doo. And I, and I mean real, I mean realistic Scooby-Doo. So we need a Fred Jones. He will be a trap master. And his negatives, he's going to be oblivious. So anytime Daphne hits on you, or some girl walks by you, you really don't pay too much attention. You you look at them, you get razzled a bit, and you, and you go, I can make a trap. Or well, that's not Dick. Something else. Yeah, well, Donkey Dick is conflicted. <laughs> very, very, very conflicted. <laughs> then, the next role we have is Daphne Lake. She knows her clothes and she knows her makeup. So she's pretty good with noticing if you have fake or real skin. <laughs> or whatever fashion sense you decide to take it out of. But her issue is she's danger prone. She is curious about everything. So for example, if Shaggy's smoking that joint, she might just be curious enough to try it. <laughs> Is she curious Don't do it. Expositions? Maybe, but this is a PG-13 movie, so we would have to cut to a cutscene. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said screw But I like your enthusiasm. Most people won't want to go the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> the third film, well, character, I just called her a film, but she technically is one. Velma Dinkley. She is the scientist and the computer nerd of the group. Her drawback? If she doesn't have her glasses, she's useless. And okay, so Noriko, Noriko's interpreter throws her hand right up in the air, and Noriko looks at her interpreter and says, Tamansai Hoshima? <laughs> and the interpreter is like, Noriko says she would be perfect for that role. <laughs> well, we might just have to get someone to dub you over for this role if you don't know how to speak English, but... You clearly understand it. So Norco looks at her interpreter and says, Dub Shushema. And her, <laughs> and her interpreter starts going back and forth in Chinese. And eventually, Norco just seems okay with it. <laughs> the guy takes another puff of his joint and he goes, Sorry if I insulted you in any way. This is the land of the free, which means you get to do whatever the hell you want as long as we make money. Because that's how we work in America. Corporations. So, the first 
fourth one we have is Shaggy Rogers. He is kind of like a cheerleader for the team. He's the spirit of the team and he's bait. He knows he's bait because he even tells people in various episodes, well, I guess Scooby and me will be live bait. Really? That's Donkey. You're <laughs> ass. Yeah, Donkey says, sounds like a pussy. I don't know. Now, his drawbacks <laughs> are the same as Scooby's drawbacks, his dog. He is addicted to food and a little bit of the joint. It's, it's rather good. Give me some of like the mind, guys. Widen the mind. You can see his eye kind of turn red when he sniffs, when he like really knows that joint. He's kind of tweaking a bit. <laughs> and everyone should probably get like the sense that this guy's off his rocker. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's the best part. We have to do Scooby-Doo. Now we can spend a lot of money and have him cinematically CG'd. Which is making a fake version that you guys won't see during the whole game. <coughs> or we can have someone dressed up in a dog suit. And Out of character, um, that sounds like Donkey Dick. <laughs> donkey Dick likes this idea. <laughs> wow. Yeah, let's dress up Donkey here's, Dick. Here's the positives of being in costume versus CG. He is the mascot, but he is the sniffer. <laughs> so, just think of what a dog could do with all those possibilities if you were a dog and not a CG oh. piece of crap. Uh, now, Donkey Dick raises his hand and, and it says, I have, I have one quick question about the costume. Is there plenty of crotch room? I, I'm, I'm kind of packing, <laughs> if you know what I mean. If you wish, sir, we will make an opening. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you're going to have to rip the sleeves off. Offer. Yeah, you have to rip the sleeves off. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit big. Just remember, too. you were addicted to food and weed. Uh, wow. Sounds like a normal Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for that sound. I might have to turn off the audio a little bit on my phone. Excuse me. Yes. Oh my uh, god, she speaks English. Yes. I could be Fred. <laughs> Wait, what, you, what happened? I could be Fred, I said. <laughs> Who said that? The the hipster. This and is Andy. Andy? Yes. Okay. Like I said, I'm totally fit for it. Hmm. Well, let's see what the rest of the crew thinks. Well, Castle, do you guys think he's a good Fred? American are very unusual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at your sheet here for your, uh... Resume says you're trained in acting, in computers, in explosives, stealth, and throwing. Cards, and actually. You I throw cards. Of 4D. I throw cards. What's 4D? For damage. Well, I am glad that I'm not boxing with you. Oh, wow, maybe I would lose my mustache. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> so, it sounds like you'd be pretty good at making traps. Yeah, kind of. I'm kind of a big deal around these parts. Well, do you guys oh. think he's a big deal? Well, watch out. Well, I mean, I was the lead role in Beauty and the Beast. Not right. the Beast. And I know how to use a Mac. I do lots of photos. Tumblr. Well, if, if you screw it up, you can always edit it. I mean, that's what editing's for, right? M fixing all the problems. <laughs> I also play Beauty and the Beast. Uh, I play Beast in an old movie. I, I don't really care much to talk about, but you know, is it rated pornographic X? in nature? But well, it sounds like we got our Fred and Mr. Donkey. It, it, it's Donkey Dick. Donkey Dixon, as it says on just, your just, resume. Just Donkey Dick. It's, it's just call me Donkey Dick. What's your middle name? I will call I you what him. it says in your <laughs> profile. Your name is Donkey Dick Dickson. So I will call There's you Mr. Dixon, me. sir. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Dixon, it looks like you have a very good... <clears throat> Holy crap. What were you, like, on steroids when you were a kid? Well, 
Uh, My lord you lived on the streets, clearly. That. You seem to be a leader because you probably beat the crap out of people who didn't follow you. And you got good yeah, acting. Right. You know what? What role do you want? Uh, I like the Scooby Doo role. You know, just give me some room in that package area. He inhales the joint and he goes, Good. Now just don't talk to me, but you can be Scooby. <laughs> and don't try to hug me either, because. I must the way break you. The way your resume looks, you would probably crush me with your pinky. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, that's the men. What do we have for the women of the role? We're missing a well, shaggy. Well, Noriko's interpreter uh, politely raises her hand and says, Miss Narikawa is very set on the role of Thelma. She feels that she would fit as a glove, as they say in English. <laughs> well, Thelma is a nerd, and a lot of people change how she is. I mean, on one site, uh, from the creators of one of the live-action movies, they thought she was a lesbian. On another one, they thought she was in love with Chucky. On another one, they thought she wanted to be a boy. So, so they uh, want yeah. her to be a lesbian either way. <laughs> you know what? Uh, Velma is a pretty easy subject to go on. You can take her. Alright, now you hear Noriko's interpreter turn to her and in, for, in a foreign language convince Noriko that this is not a terrible idea. And eventually Noriko just smiles and nods and holds up a big thumbs up and says, Okay! <laughs> well, I like this idea. That's great. He gives a thumbs up back and he looks at his joint, which is now like dwindled to like nothing because of how much he's been smoking. And he just stops and he looks. One, two, three. There's only four of us? Okay. Yes. He looks and he goes, well, you know what? Fish short a person. Because clearly, uh, the silent girl over there, um, Amelia, yes, Amelia, you seem preppy, you seem quiet, and you seem to have a very unique fashion sense, like the creepy girl, yeah, and you're the only other girl in this room, so you're Daphne, you don't really got much of a choice there, dear, just take it and roll with it. Amelia just looks at him and she just kind of like rolls her eyes and goes back to her book. <laughs> it's Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, I didn't think of what she would be reading. Probably not. Probably some type of fashion magazine, no, not. <laughs> then he pauses nah, and he looks it. and he goes, Mr. Dixon and Mr. Yes. Andy, do either of you have a stunt double that would want to play a Shaggy? I have a stunt double. Would he uh, in the role yeah. of Shaggy? Mm, yeah, he could do it. His name is yeah, Dax Wilberg. <laughs> Would he be willing to get high with me after the show? He's German. He doesn't speak much English. Hmm. But, uh, donkey gets up real quick. He's like, you can't trust those dirty Germans. Trust my guy. He's Arnold Schwarzenegger's love child. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger is he is strong okay. or is he skinny? Oh yeah, he's he's just a little bit smaller than me. Yep, not gonna happen. Shaggy is supposed to be skinny, high as a kite, and kinda like boah. Well I'm not gonna ask twice, buddy. Dunce. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at him and he takes one step, closes the door, rolls down the shade, and then he speaks through the door with his hands. I guess Scooby should probably get a different stunt double if he wants to be <laughs> Shaggy. So, <laughs> Mr. Andy, tell your stunt double he has the role. I need yeah, to go okay. see my dealer. Ta-ta, be here at 5 o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> Ta-ta. Stay here. Hello. So how's the weather in Colorado? <laughs> so, 
We got the cast. We have to get... Well, still have him in there, because he's going to be there anyways. Because of the scripting, but... We don't have anyone playing him, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. Thank Alright, oh. so we're about to start up the game. Which means we gotta do the intro. Which is the cover by... Uh, ben Chick is the vocalist. So, yeah. So are are we are we supposed so, to not talk while the music's playing? <laughs> yeah, it worked out. You guys didn't talk to the end, so that was good. Because what happened was we had the whole screen panning around to the different cast and across the map. Good. Um, so like it, it had that's why the reason the Scooby Doo title was up there and there's characters thrown on, like the Batman for clues. <laughs> you know one fin one fin Philip, you sure are going the extra mile for this game. Hell so, yeah. You can say the extra league. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Scooby-Doo Mystery Files. Today's special... Donkey Dick. <laughs> With the sight of more Donkey Dick. Scooby-Doo. And the thingy at Crystal Cove. That's not right. Where is my scripting? What page is this? Page 76. Title pages on 76? You guys are a bunch of assholes. Scooby-Doo. And the giant thingy at Crystal Cove. Starring... <laughs> Donkey Dick. <laughs> Donkey, Donkey Dick. <laughs> As Scooby. And his <laughs> sidekick. As Shaggy. Dunce Wilbur. Noriko. As Roma. Amelia. Hello. As Daphne. And last but not least, the leader of Mystery Incorporated, Andy as Freddy Jones. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> This would be a scene market movie show. <laughs> oh god, that was bad. <laughs> so you see a nice sunny horizon. The sun's rising basically over the over the friggin' uh, lake, which is also titled Crystal Cove Lake. And you cut to this scene. Just because this is a movie, so we do things like this. And it didn't jump the characters. Hang on. There we go. Ignore the characters. They are not here. Let's just get rid of them for now by throwing them on a different layer. Yay. Yay. Nothing good has ever happened at a yacht club. Now... The funny thing about this yacht club is there is nobody here. 
there is no yacht, and you see a blood trail, <laughs> this man has had an intestines cut out, wrapped around his neck, and <laughs> strangled to death with his hand in a water bucket. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Who does this shit? It sounds like we're dealing with a sick son of a bitch here. <laughs> it really does. And what you see on the camera is the blade raising out of his stomach and slashing a few times at the fake banana logo on the shit. This masked vigilante, as he likes to call himself, looks back and forth looking at the camera and looking towards the door. To make sure no one saw him. He's rather puffy, and he walks off the screen. She says two hours later, the camera pay fades out, and you see Officer Stone. Is he stoned? He's looking at the body. He's kind of a brick-headed one-man team at a really big police station, which is kind of funny. And he's on the phone. Hi, uh, I just, I need to talk to the mayor. Yeah, sir, we've got, uh, a dead guy at the, at the yacht club. Uh, yes, yes, I know. I, I, I still haven't gotten enough people to pitch in for the yacht, sir. We're working on that. But, um, he's got a lot of cuts on him, and there's a note here. You want me to read it? All right. Dear Phony, you do not deserve to be at this club. Period. I have fixed your phony shirt to what it should. This doesn't make sense. Should be. It's a shirt. What's 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 the deal with a shirt not being what it should be? A shirt is a shirt. Yeah, I know, boss. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. Fine, fine. I know. Hey, I'll, I'll continue. Jason? What is this? Friday the 13th? Okay. Jason thinks that thefts should be... Wait. Surfs? That's how it's pronounced? I thought it was shifts. Okay. Surfs? Surfs should be eating at Campus Burger and not at the Yacht Club. Period. This this woman really likes to put periods in. Uh -huh. what, what what do you mean? <laughs> kind of well, it, it, it looks like the handwriting of a woman. But, okay, it might be a man, a very feminine man who. Yes, yes, you have beautiful penmanship, sir. No, I am not calling you a woman, sir. Yes. <laughs> All right. It says that any time anyone decides to upset the hierarchy of this rank of society, that they shall face Jason dun, dun, on the dun. night... Well, uh, this would have been better if it said on Night of the Moon. What? You want us to start up t-shirts for this? She, she didn't even, she, he or she didn't even give us a name. We don't even know what we're fighting. Oh. Oh, Jason. Gotcha. Hockey masks. Right. Alright, so I'll, I'll go put in a note of hockey masks and I'll uh, put up a new attraction. Yes, yes. Oh. I think I'm getting bad connections, sir. You see the sheriff banging his phone now against the head of the corpse? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. I'm losing Standard connection, protocol. Sir. I'm losing... Standard protocol. Oh, oh, I lost connection. Damn it, I snapped this phone again. Okay. And the sheriff walks off. Oh, boy. What a capable sheriff. Yep, the oh. typical sheriff of <laughs> Crystal Cove. Alright, so 
technically, you guys would be getting out of whatever you were doing during the night because it's morning. So were you guys at your houses? Were you at the university? Were you getting high at a burger joint? Yeah, Shaggy were definitely smoking something. So, so Shaggy and Scooby are getting high in their apartment the complex then. Velma was obviously at home writing erotic for fanfiction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, very cool. Daphne would have been trying to sneak into Freddy's apartment. Ooh, R-rated already. Uh, and, uh, Mr. Fred Jones, what were you doing? Hmm. Well, I was in my bed, reading Harry Potter. <laughs> book five. It's my favorite book. Yeah, that's what I like to do. Oh, I was also eating um, Fritos. Not free toes. <laughs> <laughs> and you see the director, you see, you probably see like a, a stunt guy off screen or like a gaff. So I'm like waving his arms, like no brand names, no brand names. <laughs> you, you see one director waving his hands about no brand names, which is the scene director, and then you see the main director going, making shingles, shingle chips, the best chips in the world. And he's just like gesturing and he's holding up like a big billboard saying like a ten thousand uh dollar payment for the for the studio. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so Freddy is on his bed. Reading Harry Potter, book five. Reading Harry Potter. And <laughs> Daphne would be sitting in the apartment, rather frustrated, going figure he would get a hint or two. Of course, um, yeah, no. Excuse me, do you want something? I'm kind of busy right now. Yeah, reading about traps, ri wizards, in a fictional world. God, it's not fiction. <sighs> Why doesn't nobody understand? Daphne storms out of the room, and Fred gets a call. You get a call? Ring, 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 ring. Um, I take out my iPhone. Uh, <laughs> 5S, golden. <laughs> and um, I answer it. Hey, Fred, it's your dear old pops. Oh, so, hi, Dad. Um, How are you? I'm doing good. I just wanted to know what uh, you and your mystery crew was doing for the next uh, week. Well, um, I'm supposed to be going to my book club tomorrow, but I guess I could cancel it. No, no, there's no, there's nothing going on. I just, I just wanted to make sure that you were busy. Okay, well, yeah, I'm busy. I got, got seven books to read. Daphne <laughs> comes bashing into the room and goes, Freddie Prince Jones, do you even know what... You're on the phone with your father, aren't you? Mm, yes. What are you doing in my house? Can I just ask that? Um... <laughs> Staying over, hoping that we could get some time together, but that's fine. You can go on about your traps. <laughs> so, y your father's found another mystery for us to solve? And once yeah. she says that, you hear the father can hear her over the phone, and he just speaks up rather loudly. Oh, well, um, no. No mysteries here. Go away. <laughs> yeah, go away, Daphne. God, no one likes you. Why are you in my... <laughs> Why is she over your house? Oh, no. You know, your mother and me have had this talk before. We do not want the birds and the bees happening. We are paying for that apartment. <laughs> Dad, I, I hope you know I'm, I'm, I'm asexual, right? You know that. <laughs> yeah, I used to tell myself that all the time. And look where it wound up. A 19-year-old kid who just keeps spending my money and ruining every chance I have to make money. Because he needs to help me solve the mystery that there's someone in a costume helping us make money around town. Just because it's a little blood does not mean that it's a bad thing. Dad, I will help you with whatever you need. As long as it doesn't end up like last Christmas. That was horrible. <laughs> I'm glad we had this talk, son. Alright. I'll see you later. In my room. Uh, oh. 
see you later. <laughs> Honey, uh, cancel the trip. <laughs> and he shuts his phone. <laughs> Alright. So, um, I say to Daphne, yeah, um, we should go check out this mystery. Well, it's not like we can get a- oh, look, someone posted something on the blotter. We have a blog? The, you know, Twitter. Oh, I should oh, say right. Chipper, since we're not allowed to use real brand names. Chipper, the... No, Chirper. Chipper. Yeah. <laughs> well, the police Chipper says, uh... Totally I not. just found a totally disgusting body. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> I need some scientists to investigate the body. Ew, gross. There's a... Hashtag Crystal Cove Country Club. Ch also, um, you will notice a chipper message from Velma that says, Oh, I really love apricot computer. They are very good and efficient. <laughs> she, she looks at the pop-up from that, and she just slides it aside, and she continues reading it. She caught it. It's a beetle, Fred. He, it was a beetle. He found a beetle on it. This this must be from Sheriff Stone. He, you know how he is with bugs. And then it says at the end of the message. Oh, by the way, this is a uh, Sheriff Stone. So um, nobody mentioned this to the the club that we do not name at uh. <laughs> Dowers University, because uh, we want to profit, and uh, yeah, this person was strangled clearly with their own intestines. <laughs> All right, well, um, I'm gonna head over to the country club. Uh, I guess I will follow along. Do you need a trap made or something? Because I'm sure we're gonna do that. No, I'll just carry around the stick of dynamite. That's all I need. Oh well, Freddy, you're getting rather heroic. Yeah, I can even carry it without my hands. <laughs> when he said that, she kind of looks very awkwardly, and she just like walks away very fast. I'll be in the van. <laughs> and we go to Shaggy's house. Where Shaggy and Stooby are getting high off a kite in their friggin' apartment. In the bathroom. Yeah, in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> They're both in there at the same time. <laughs> They're both fully clothed in the bathtub. <laughs> They're both fully clothed in the bathtub. And the bathtub, bathtub is filled with free toes. <laughs> Shingles! Shingles. Shingles chips. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and give... Uh, gonna give Shaggy a call. Okay. Your phone's ringing. Yo, like, uh, dude, you have a phone call. Dude, phone call. Bring, bring, bring. Pick up your damn phone. Bring. If I get to the fifth ring, then I'm gonna have to take this voice message. Bring. You answer that, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Scooby <laughs> Andy, you get to play uh, Shaggy, like the voice of him. Oh, oh, oh I, I do. do. Yeah. Great. Dude. Oh, Jesus, my head. All right. Uh, I'll get to pick up the phone. Up. Hi. <laughs> Yo, this is Shaggy. Um, Shaggy? Uh,. I'm coming to pick you up right now. We gotta go to the Crystal Cove Country Club. Um, bring some lube. I mean, um, Jesus. I meant, bring your tools. Oh, dude, alright. Alright. I'm getting off this bathtub. <laughs> Give me a second, this is gonna take a while. Hey, don't spill the Cheetos. <laughs> Shingles, where the fuck they are. <laughs> Wait a second, man, this, this bathtub is sucking me in. <laughs> that drain is so big. Oh, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Scooby Doo smacks the shit out of him. Scooby Doo. Get together, man. Get the gun, Jaman. <laughs> Alright. I uh, go down this. Here. Um, Mr. Dunce, or should I say Shaggy, goes out with Scooby, get in the van, and we're heading to Crystal Cove. <coughs> okay, so you guys are heading off to Crystal Cove. I have to grab the van that I forgot to update. Yeah, baby. Get this bird. Also, uh, just a suggestion. I think every time we use a brand name object, we should get a dice bonus. <laughs> Every time you use a brand name object, I have to mark it off on a sheet so that way I know how many people have mentioned the brand name. Because you, you know Norica's going to mention apricot computers every freaking time, right? Yep. Apricot. Apricot. Oh. Computers are nice. I like my computers. Okay, so we're almost at the hour mark, which means that we get to stop it, and that means we're getting to a commercial. Scooby Doo will be back in a moment on Sci Fi. How the hell am I supposed to lock <laughs> this piece of crap while eating? Have you ever wished to have enlightenment? An enlarged fire hose to show to your wife? Make her feel like you've been proud and have huge cracker jacks on the side well all you have to do is take the mana's pill the mana's pill makes it so you can have a large fire hose loaded with extra bursts of water and then the lady stops smiles at the camera and she goes the devil used it when he was with the mana why don't you Warning, Damana's pills have side effects. You can have internal bleeding, charisma, <laughs> and blah 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 In the middle of all those things, if you're listening very closely, you hear as a side effect to make you go mentally insane and start slaughtering all your friends and family inside your house and maybe eating their brains. Warning, this contains bath salts. Dude, I've tried bath salts. God, Donkey Dick approves this message. <laughs> Turns out bath salts had to be banned in this town entirely because of Shaggy and Scooby. Yeah. The second commercial come fades in, I and you see a shingle sitting on the sidewalk, just sitting there. Oh man, what in the media did they do to this thing? Someone kneels down. This, is, this isn't littering. This is a thin. What did they do to it? Um, I believe they wasted a shingle chip. But shingle chips are our friends. They make us feel all warm and fuzzy inside. What would we do without them? Well, um, we could waste all our money on hookers. Oh, but that's no fun. Well, then I guess we better call in the shingle police. Simons pull up. Cop gets out of the car, has a gun. You see it's a guest star starring the cat actor that was playing Sheriff Stone. He points the, car, the gun at the kids. What's one of you drop the chips? It, it, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. He looks over and he sees Scrappy pouring out a bag of shingles. Loads his pistol and shoots the dog on sight. <coughs> they see the dog bleeding out and then you hear the angel song. Please, don't waste shingles. You might kill a puppy. Don't kill puppies. Damn. <laughs> Third commercial, if you want to do it, Shaggy, you can. The mm -hmm. whole uh, message the whole... about smoking. <laughs> You know, it's not as bad as people think. Ever since I became a weed addict, it's always been good. I've been riding slow, cruising the high life. And by high, I mean style high. That's true. 
here, and my friend Scooby Doo would tell you it feels good. Scooby, tell him, good. tell him, Scooby. Tell him again, Scooby. It feels fucking good. One more time. Good. One more time. When when he says the f good. when he says the f word, it feels Michelangelo. Good. Yeah, <laughs> also. Drop the shingles. All right. Drop the your ass. That's it. Yeah, it's a commercial. It's the fade into the actual scene. Oh. That's the reason I can't really use too much of it because of 30 seconds, you know? Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, so the sheriff is standing at the body with a stick. And he is poking at it. <laughs> he is like, dude, I hate chickadees. Alright, so. I hate bugs. I hate them. 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 Oh, shit. So Fred gets he out of the looks, car. He sees the van. And he sees Fred. And he <laughs> pretends to wave like he likes it. And you see in his hand the cell phone. And he's like, I, uh, boss. Yeah, w what is it? Um, uh, your son's here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this Y y you're kidding, right? I specifically told him that there was no mystery. Y you didn't go telling anyone, did you? No, no, I just went to my usual source. Uh, I asked for help on actual um, data for, you Police know, radio? how he died. And uh, he, um, did I just hear that on Google Radio? Did you Twitter this? It it's called chirping, sir. Chirping. That's right. Chirping. I, I can't. Right. That's it. You you don't get paid this week. Um, if, if you have to, uh, arrest them. But um, just just make sure they don't find anything. The sheriff looks at you guys, and you have a chance to uh, see if you guys can actually spot it. You see him kind of edge towards in front of it when you guys are getting out of the van. He gets in front of the body and he yanks at the intestines to get him off of the neck. Hmm. That that should be enough. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna roll to throw the dynamite and kill it. <laughs> You're gonna throw the dynamite? Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm that, not gonna do that. That definitely looks like he's like, I'm gonna jump. Well, I gotta so. take the dynamite out of my anus first, so. <laughs> But I'm not going to do that just yet. So I walk up to the cop and I'm like, ooh, getting real close. I'm like, sir, uh, why is your phone all bloody? Um, um, look, just because you're my uh, boss's son doesn't mean I have to tell you anything. Yes, it does. <laughs> mm, no, it doesn't. You know, I manage my dad's finances, right? Oh, well, um, roll me a bluff check. A what? No, mm -hmm. bluff check. Bluff. Uh, bluff uses, if you don't have it. Acting. It uses, um, yeah, acting would work for bluff. Okay. So, gotta get a 42 or lower. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what is it? I'm just gonna roll it. D100, right? You roll a D100. Shit. Yeah, uh... No. Right, so are, we, are we going D100 or 2D10 like the book is? Uh, we're gonna roll D100 because it's the same thing. 2D10, oh. the first row would be your 10s, and the second row would be your singles. Alright. Well... Uh, think... yeah, no, you see, you don't, you don't do your father's finances. That's what his, uh, secretary, Tina, does. But I do have a direct so, say in it. That, that reminds me, um... He's off. What's Scooby-C? 
uh, yeah. Scooby sees all this and he just walks right up the cop and punches it. He sees all this happening and he, he sees that Fred isn't going anywhere. Uh, yeah, you hear me? Yeah, I'm hearing you. Hello? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the Sco- all right, Scooby walks right up to him. He punches the cop right in the face. <laughs> okay, roll me an attack attempt. Okay, uh, D100. <laughs> right? Yep. yep. And then I'm throwing um, the token for you to control on for a second, so you should be able to control them in a second. Give me one sec. Oh, you boy, oh, he's very violent. Go right for punch. So I you should know. be able to click Scooby and move him around. <laughs> okay, so... I think he, uh, right there is fine, actually. Well, try moving him. See if you can actually move him around. Oh. Yep. Okay. And now this is Fred. And also and give I'll me tell shame. you in a second. Yeah, I can. I can only give you Fred. I can only give you one to control. All right, fair enough. Well, actually, no. I can give you two to control, but I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to <laughs> make, do it each time on Shaggy. Because I can't just drag Shaggy out, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, hang on, I can. Temp Shaggy. In players' journals, all can be moved by Andy. Select token Shaggy. And I just realized I might want to. Have him represent him first before I do that. All right. So, as Shaggy, I will move over here mm-hmm. and say, "All right, cop. All right. You know what? Just take a take a swig of this and tell me what you think." All right. Well, first thing we gotta do is see if he if the dog hits him. Oh yeah, that's uh, right. No, I don't. So you, you swing at him, and the sheriff steps aside, and he goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone's got to put that dog on a leash. All right, so that's Shaggy. I'll go over here. Oops. I'll be like, Shaggy, Shaggy, control your, or, I mean, <laughs> Scooby, Scooby, control yourself. So I'm over here, and I'm like, all right, cop, you tell me something. I will bet you mm, the rest of this joint that you can't finish this fifth of vodka. <laughs> he, he pauses because he's not that bright of a sheriff, and he goes, "So you're smoking a joint, so I can arrest you, but this hippopotica puzzle. I've never tried a hippopotica puzzle. Ooh, what what type of hippopotica puzzle is it? Well, see, this is the thing. This is Crystal Cove. Weed is legal because it's in Colorado." But I'm also underage. So, there's that. Seriously, try it. It's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> he, he pauses, and you get a roll and attempt to persuade him into doing that. Alright, what am I rolling for? It would be persuasion, which would be... If I look at the character sheets, uh, persuasion really is fame. Right, so you have to roll under a d10. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Or you can use acting instead. So you didn't critically fail it, but you you did fail. God hmm. damn it! He he looks at you and he goes. <laughs> You know what? I've put you kids behind bars way, way, way too many times. So, um, how about right. I just... So wait uh, a second. While he's doing this, as Freddy, I will do attempt to do a stealth and pickpocket him. <laughs> sure. You're gonna pickpocket him? Yep. Okay, so an attempt to pick... Attempting... <laughs> Roll it, see if you succeed. Right. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, I succeed. Okay, so you stealth behind him. <laughs> and I put a stick of dynamite up his ass. <laughs> he, when he feels that thing go up his ass, he you, you see him quickly jump, and he grabs his pants, and the dynamite would fall out. It wouldn't, it wouldn't like stick. Why do you and think he, he he doesn't look and see it. He looks at you and he goes, "We are not gonna have this. No, no, no. You know what? You and your freaky little club can uh, do whatever the hell you want. I'm done. I'm done with wait, this wait, shit. I'm done I... working for your father. No, no, wait. no, Mr. Jones. You stop following me. I will, I will cuff you. You would probably enjoy that. You kinky little bastard." Wait a second. Um, I need to put this Sheriff, right would now. you not antagonize my boyfriend? Wait, what? You're dating oh, the, the yeah, Jones yeah. kid? Yeah, we're totally dating. <laughs> Daphne, what are you doing? Um, trying to keep him from torturing just so, you. Just so we're clear, we're not actually dating, right? You see her start watering up, and he goes. Oh, oh, come on now. Don't, don't go and... You just said you two were dating. Now, you should stop hurting your girlfriend's feelings. You know what? You guys can investigate this crime. I feel <laughs> obligated to give it to you. Well, Have fun. His intestines were around that guy's neck. I don't know <laughs> how you heard about it, but... You know what? Have a frenzy. Go. Lick up the blood for all I care. Wait a second. Can I have my stick of dynamite back? do that? He pauses, wait, did a stick of dynamite? And he looks, he, he reaches in his pants, scratches a little bit of his ass, feels around, and he just goes, um, you're such a kidster, just stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> and when he says fuck, really what it says on the TV is peas and rice. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna go investigate the body as Fred. Um, later. can... Uh, can Velma roll, uh, what would I, what would Velma roll to investigate the body? Medicine? Yep. Okay. Medicine would be investigating the body as in, like, a dissection and such. Alright, well, make me so I can actually move my token, please. You should be able to. Um, oh, I, I'll, I, okay. Okay, so Velma approaches the body and says, Oh, everyone let me do this. I study at university. I study medicine at university, and I know. I know what to do. Daphne walks over and goes, Oh, isn't this cute? We have all... I forgot about you, Velma. I forgot that you were adopted. It's really nice to know that you're such a good person with science. Uh, please, please stop talking. You, you, you must stop my investigation. Oh, no. And that's my in-character excuse for the fact that I just failed this role. <laughs> I need it forty. I need it under. I need it under forty-five. Da Daphne looks rather confused, and she goes, "Wait a second. And she looks closely at the shit. And now I gotta roll her. Uh, what is it? <laughs> what are we rolling? What are <laughs> Wait, man. Are we rolling joints again? Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? By the way, did did uh, uh did Andy get anything when he when he snuck behind the cop and tried to rob? <laughs> yeah, I know. No, he just put a stick of dynamite in his ass. <laughs> he just put a stick. Yeah, he just literally put a stick of dynamite in his butt. That's all he did. Stealthily. All right. Stealthily. All right. Well, while all this is happening, Scooby, oh, you know, Donkey Dick. Uh, it would be carousing that she would use, and that's a build. Of course, that's a build. Surprisingly, they have it off strength, so I gotta roll under a 24 to realize that the shit. Freddy could do that roll. Why would why would that yes. be the roll? Weird. I could be like Dex or something. Yeah, nope. Daphne looks and she goes, "Why would you cut up a perfectly good shit?" <laughs> right. I mean, it may Scooby. not be like the fashion trend, but it's it's right. a nice shit. So Shaggy's like Scooby. Dude, sniff that shit and see if you can find a trail, man. Alright, so Scooby sniffs that shit. Man. <laughs> so, wool tracking. Oh, tracking. Okay. When... Tracking uses your brain. 
Oh, great. I got a fucking 14. <laughs> well, Velma, has, uh, Velma has tracking, but I have less tracking. I may be able to do it. Velma, sniff the shit. <laughs> yeah, Velma, sniff that shit if I don't make it. <laughs> oh, did you make it? No. No. You said you had to make four. You said you. I had to he make four. He was decent enough. He wasn't close enough to, to get like all the information. But when he sniffs it, he smells perfume. Ooh. Yeah, all the weeds messing up his senses. So he smells a lot of perfume, and it smells similar to Daphne's perfume, but it has a faint musk scent to it. Uh, Freddy, so like, Scooby Freddy's starts like sniffing Daphne's ass. <laughs> she she quickly grabs at her dress and she just glares over at Freddy and she's like Freddy get get this thing Oh I passed I passed my tracking stop. Pole. <laughs> So wait, as Freddy I'm like Um Velma, if you sniff the shit, I will let you read some of my fanfic that are for Harry Potter. Okay, so Hearing that, Velma like instantly presses her nose like right up, right up in that business, and takes a big deep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when you go to take the big deep sniff, you notice that the name brand was slashed, and you also <laughs> notice that there's a note next to the body. Uh, the name from the brand was blood. slashed, and there is a note next to the body, honorable classmates. All right, that's Freddy. Uh, I pick up this note, and I read it out loud. Daphne cringes when she sees you pick it up, and she's just like, Ugh, that's covered in blood. It can actually, actually kind of turns me on, but whatever. So. Oh, it does? <laughs> she picks, she puts her hand in the blood, and she smudges it on her face. What are you doing? It turns you on. Uh, okay. Daphne, that, that is very dishonorable behavior, Daphne-san. <laughs> He's already expired. Really He's already... Done. So, um, Shaggy comes over here and dumps vodka on her. She to starts get crying out. and falls onto her knees, just like in tears, like, I hate Mr. Reincorporated. Shaggy's just like, Yo, Velma. Velma, read the note out loud for us. With your English. Alright, read the note out loud. Please. So, the note that she reads would go <laughs> the same note that you guys heard of. <coughs> the um, one about the app, about the name brand. I gotcha. And the guy being a surf. And how he doesn't deserve it. And he should go eat at Campus Burger because that's where all the surfs belong. Oh, so it's like a class warfare kind of thing? Yeah. Right. It's pretty much somebody killing, killing because they shouldn't be at the yacht club with a Let's fake go. shit. It We're sounds like Crash Warfare, Velma We're says. Daph Daphne pauses when she starts, like, squeezing the vodka out of her hair. <laughs> and she looks over at, at, um, Velma and then looks at the body and she goes, Wait, that's one of those thrift shop shirts. Yeah, um... That's, <laughs> you shouldn't wear that at a yacht club. That's just insulting to anyone that has money. Oh, I agree. Dafer Nissan is most dishonorable. Freddy's no, like, <laughs> let's go to the burger shop. We gotta find clues. And then Shaggy's like, dude, burger shop sounds real good right now. <coughs> and that's where oh, we're heading. You, you American and your McDonald make you very fat. Being fat is okay. nice. But still, Daphne goes anyway. Oh, no, Velma goes anyway. Pardon me. She she frowns and she follows. I figure Scooby jumped in the car with him. Wait a second. Uh, Daphne, Scooby's Daphne high on bath salts, so what he starts to the body. We should let Velma drive, because women can't drive any of the What? Velma should drive. Okay. No, wait, no, are you serious? You're going to see if your girl drive. You're going to see all right, let's go. Burger shop, let's that's, go. The director pauses. Wait, wait, wait. That's never happened before in Scooby-Doo. Wait, no. No, this is good. Realistic approach. Asians driving. We could throw in an accident somewhere. By or the we way... Can just let you get to the, we can just let you get to the burger shop. That works, too. Progression, progression. 
Velma pauses to say, by the way, I am so glad that the National Motor have put a new motor inside our mystery machine. What did the old one run on? <laughs> National Motor motor is very, very fast. Make you feel as a very big penis. Like donkey dick. <laughs> Like donkey dick. <laughs> yes. Like Romkey Rick. Craggy. <laughs> this mystery is going wonderful. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> All <right>. Okay. <laughs> so. You guys get to the burger shop. You park the car. I go set at a booth. Why is your HP so low? Oh, because survival points are in the wrong spot. Okay. <coughs> what? Scooby makes Daphne sit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Daphne looks at the group and she just goes, Why am I treated... Worse than the dog. Um, you know you like it, bitch. <laughs> dog, very helpful to us investigate mystery, Daphne, Velma explains. You I'm are... I'm the one that knew about the shirt. You are more here for a uh, sexual appear, as the Americans like to say, Daphne's son. You can have my seat if you want, Daphne. <laughs> she, she looks over and she hears the voice and she goes, I can't take Freddy's seat. Well, you That's un American. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So let's order some food and I will use Freddy's skill to look around. Wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> Freddy's looking for something suspicious, so he's going to dance on top of the tail. And <laughs> That's a good idea, um, Real fast, what would we need to roll to see if anyone nearby smells like that perfume at the crime scene? Tracking? Tracking. Yep. Okay, roll. Roll. I need to be... Oh, so close. <clears throat> this person comes walking over with a big smile on her face and she goes... <laughs> So, you guys wanted to come to Campus Burger. Would you like one of our veggies? Um, excuse me, do you have anything that has, like, no gluten, no meat, no fat? Well, we no are sugar. a vegetarian <laughs> restaurant. So, um, yeah, we have a lot of stuff, but no, uh, meat. Well, I've never here, been here to this <laughs> peasant food store. You've never been here? Yeah, it's a peasant Don't you food go store. to the university with me? Don't, don't you... Guys, all go to the university, literally right up the road. Present. She pauses when she hears Scooby talking really demonic, and she goes, That was not, that was pretty. <laughs> What's that? What'd he say? <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm not a fucking peasant. I don't eat you. When he says I'm not a fucking peasant, she goes very quickly into the back room. And you hear a scream. <laughs> Scooby runs over there. <laughs> um, excuse me, boy, that is a very dishonorable behavior, Velma says. She is bleeding out and has a machete stuck in her neck. And you hear a voice modulator from the guy in the mask <laughs> go, Mr. Ink. Yes, that okay. is us. I am going to use my throwing skill and my explosive skill to throw dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to punch him in the face. <laughs> um, you might want to rethink throwing dynamite, just giving you a heads up. These are all grills, which means it's gas. That's okay, that's okay. <laughs> I've got first all right, I'm going to leave the room. <laughs> I've got first skill. Oh my God. I'm going to throw dynamite. Get to the chopper. I'm not lying to Dynamite, I'm just gonna pull a stick at him. <laughs> yes! Uh, yes! 
<laughs> okay, so did you light the dynamite? Yes, I did. You hit the thing in the face. The thing pauses and catches the dynamite in its hands, looking at it, looking at you, looking at the fuse, and then it runs out towards the door and it chucks it. And the next thing you see is a car going down the street, goes up. <laughs> okay. I throw my fan right. fiction book at him now. You, you throw what at him? Fan fiction book. <laughs> okay. Wait, I don't know. Wait. I don't Shit. know if that hits. I don't think it does, right? I missed. No. All right, I want to punch him in the face. Yeah. So Scooby's going for the physical approach. Uh, while oh, he's yeah. doing that, could I roll? Could I roll tracking again? See if I could somehow get like a bead on him or anything. I don't know. Oh yeah, I punched yeah. him in the face. You can smell the perfume on him. Oh really? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's obvious. Nice. He has a very nice scent. Oh, this man. He's very puffy. He looks as if he's filled with pillows. This man uh, uh, smells like a woman. Maybe because it is a woman. <laughs> oh, you American and your weird sexual fantasy. She gets off of the tape, like the ground, and walks <clears throat> over. Um, guys, what's what's going on? You need uh, to. Some... And she screams right when she sees the body. <laughs> All right, I throw dynamite at him again. <laughs> uh, did, wait, do I punch him in the face? I had level twenty-seven. Not together. Um, I think so. Yeah, and I had to roll a 49 under. Yep. So you All punch right. the thing in the face. Does the hands come off? And yeah. So that would be, what damage are you? <coughs> Five. Five, okay. Oh, I have it on the notes. Hang on. There we go. Alright. So... When you punch him, he falls back and you hear, Ugh! And then he looks up seeing Freddy and he makes a run. <laughs> Being Freddy and awesome, I use my stealth and try to <laughs> take off his mask. <laughs> Without him noticing, of course. Attempt it. Yes, I did it. So you grab it, you remove the mask. Yes. And the person runs away and gets away. But what? you see... <laughs> Let me double check on the color of the Wait a hair. Can I just put a lit dynamite? You pull the mask off of the person. And you see orange flowing hair from the person's back of their head. Scooby, yeah, let, us, let us use our sniff power <laughs> to <laughs> track him. Yeah, I'll sniff him. I still have the mask in my hand, right? Daphne pauses when she's... Wait a second. I have the mask in my hand, right? Yep. Alright. Scooby, your boy. Take a sniff of this. Or Velma. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I <laughs> sniff it. Okay, well. Noriko can't smell shit. <laughs> you see. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh. You smell Daphne. I smell Daphne. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that I go over to Daphne and start sniffing her ass again. <laughs> what? All right, <laughs> your dog instincts kick over and you start humping her. Yeah, I start humping oh, her. No, no, no. Yes, I do. I I ravage her. <laughs> I use my I use my seductiveness. My I, I roll for seductiveness. It's a cat. Ah, damn it. <laughs> it's say, hey, Shaggy, you get over here. That, and she but... leaps over the thing and she just starts. Trying to run. Wait, <laughs> I run Freddy, her down. Freddy's like, hey, <laughs> Daphne, <laughs> tell me what's going on. He's trying to hump me, and she's screaming like, "Stop that crazy dog!" Right, she goes, so she goes and hides behind Fred. I punch what's Fred gotten in into face. you guys? <laughs> Wait a second, Daphne. Why is the dog smelling you instead? I don't know. What did you give it to smell? <laughs> And, wh and why is uh why is Fred's token upside down? <laughs> he keeps rotating where he's talking. I'm gonna zap you with this trap trigger. <laughs> okay, so when the Scooby Gang is busy fighting and arguing and trying to figure out who's doing what, 
we get to go to the main place. Also known as City Hall. But wait, who else has orange hair? <laughs> and you see the mayor. And he goes, okay, I just got off the phone. It seems like there was another murder and a car explosion. <laughs> and my kids are involved. Kids? <coughs> kid. I mean kid. Freddy. Yes. Uh, well, clearly we got a mystery on our hands. And since the local policeman is a one-man team, this calls for the next best thing. Are you going to ha Are you going to call um your son's group? I don't have to call them; they're already there. Takes a swig of his alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> My son, who's in the Mystery Ink Club at Dow University. I mean, who else can save Crystal Cole from making millions of dollars <laughs> off of a few measly deaths? Alright, wait up. Can I... Do I have control of my character right now? He... No, no, it's... This is a different scene. It's, it's just something that you guys see as a story, but you don't see as characters. <coughs> he pauses. He, he uh, takes out a pipe and he smokes it. And he goes, Hey, Dina. Yes, sir? Remember to remind me to do that thing tomorrow. Remind me to, you know, ask somebody for help. But, sir, um, what about the murder? That killer could be anywhere. We could step outside and get killed. Well, yeah, beautiful redhead. That is why you and I are sleeping over and we are locking down my office until sunrise. I mean, who the hell kills during the day? Everybody will see you then. And then he quickly goes to unbuckle his pants, and the secretary runs over and locks the door. <laughs> okay. Well, let's switch over. Like let's switch like back. Not. The other scene. Yep. Alright. So, wait. So, as Freddy... While everyone's like arguing and trying to figure out what's what, <laughs> it hits me. The car. The car hits me. <laughs> <laughs> no. What hits you? Um, and I'm like, wait. All right. Who else do we know that has red hair and smells like Daphne? Um, Daphne's parents. <laughs> My father's secretary. Besides Daphne's vagina. I mean, she pauses. Daphne's rusty. She didn't say. She pauses and she she goes, guys, can we recut that? Yeah, yeah, you keep screwing it up, miss. Um, let's see, Fred's father's secretary. That's right. I, I told her about the scent. Um, <laughs> and my mom uses a similar one. Uh, my sisters. Uh, but they couldn't be it. And why are you two dancing? <laughs> uh, Daphne's on your parents would probably use the same perfume as you. Yes. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Velma, I have a question. Tweet my dad's secretary right now and ask her what she's doing. Uh... Okay, we can go visit your dad's secretary then. There's no, no, no. Problem. no, 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 just tweet her. Oh, or, okay. Or chirp her, chirp her. Okay, so our world computer? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> I get a roll to see if the secretary messed up. Yeah. Oh, so close. That's okay, oh. the secretary messed up. When you click the Twitter... The, the chipper you see on the secretary's feed 
um, basically, uh, it's it's kind of like a live stream. Oh, she's live streaming. And you don't, you don't, they don't show it on the camera, but you hear Fred's father and the secretary, yes, yes, oh, yes. All right. Yes, you are getting a bonus. You okay. are so getting a bonus. I get it, man. You're ruining my mind. So, right. Velma will Using look at... Using my computer. Uh, I, have, I have a computer skill. I'm going to ask my dad over a tweet um, what hours his, his secretary is present. Uh, okay, so Velma's going to look at Fred and say, Oh, thank you because... Thank you for Apricot Computer and the very wonderful handheld device because I was able to use the new Apricot operating system to check the chipper and I can confirm that your on your most honorable father, the most honorable male of our town, is currently having sexual intercourse with his uh, secretary. Oh, wife going to be very upset about this. I am going to see my daddy right now. There's only one person that's supposed to suck his cock and that's me. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we are heading back. Uh, Let's go to the mayor's office. <laughs> <laughs> we keep taking wrong terms because Velma is driving. <laughs> like, where do I drive? It's okay, I completely passed the map. There's so many maps on here. I was like, whoops. <laughs> All right. So, that's Freddy. Oh, Yo, I was supposed to delete the mystery machine. So, you would be going up to the door, and the door, you would, <coughs> wouldn't be able to enter. It would be locked. Okay. I'm going to roll to explode it with dynamite. Okay. You already used your dynamite now. <laughs> Fuck. I'm going to roll to throw dynamite at it. That's different. Yes. You threw dynamite at the door. It hit the door and it fell to the ground. But it's a one. It's a critical one. the door. <laughs> okay, it's a critical one. So you hit the door. It fall, The dynamite falls to the ground. And then all of a sudden, you hear the door creak open like someone's in there. Like, Arr! Using my stealth, I sneak in. I'm gonna roll for that. Shit. They hear me. I'm walking noisily. I am taking lamps and throwing them on the ground because I'm throwing a temper tantrum. Okay, so you're throwing a temper tantrum. And when she hears the smashing, he goes, Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Tina. Uh, this, this calls for... Uh, Bye! And he clicks a thing on the door and slides into a hidden compartment. Alright, I corner Tina, Tina and I roll to seduct her using my acting skills. <laughs> yes! You roll to what her? <laughs> to seduce her. She starts, like, falling for you and she's like, Oh, um, you, you look a lot like your father just at a younger age. Daphne tells me. I'm pretty big. And I go, and I Daphne, give her a big sniff. Daphne gets in, walks in. She sees you doing that, and she she smells just like the murderer. And Daphne goes, Freddy! So I, I tell her, Daphne, don't worry. It's okay, I don't like women anyways. And so I give her a sniff, and I say, It's you! You're the murderer! I point fingers at her and I tell Scooby to kill her. So you say when you say she's the murderer, the next thing you see is the room uh, do me a basically like a roll for perception, everyone. So like roll your uh, whatever you can use for notice. Uh, notice. What? Pretty much. I think computer is the closest thing I have. It really doesn't matter. You guys would probably notice it anyways. You can hear hissing noise. And you would see the room starting to fill with yellow gas. And the secretary starts screaming and backing against the wall. 
I'm tell I'm still telling Scooby to do to punch her. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm see, gonna punch her. When you go to punch her, the next thing you see is something fall out of the ceiling, and it hisses at you. I punch it. <laughs> you punch it. <laughs> oh, hey, so the door's closed behind us. Yep. Okay. Well. Oh yeah, I beat the shit out of it. <laughs> okay, you hit him. And when you punch it, you hit something hard. Like, it feels like a prick you just punched. Alright, I try to seduce it. <laughs> that thing looks at you, and it twitches slightly, as if it's like almost animatronic. And it hisses again, and then swings at you. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Is there a computer in the room? Uh, yeah. That would actually okay. be near Tina, but she's screaming and hiding. Okay, I want Velma to run over there and try and use the computer, okay? Yep. Alright, let's see. And he does a hit. So, he's going to hit you for four damage. Oh, shit! <laughs> and that's him just doing a regular hit. That's not even him doing his skills. That's him, like, slapping at you. Yeah. Well, well, the legit computer, up the computer right? broke. <laughs> you, you go to the computer... And you reach for it, and you push it off the side, and it shatters. And the secretary goes, I don't want to die. I thought it was supposed to be a Jason. <laughs> and the next thing you see is... Wait up. I haven't done my Freddy thing yet. Oh. I throw okay. dynamite at the wall to try to escape. This wall right here. What do you throw at, throw at the wall? Dynamite. Dynamite? dynamite? How much dynamite do you have? I told you I carry five sticks around with me. Five? So that's yes. one, two, three. So you're on number four? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you throw it at the wall. It s explodes and it pushes the, the creature back and you see wires coming out of him. And you can see like a person in it. Ooh. Right. And then the thing Shag quickly starts taking off. And it's a, you hear like a propeller starting, even though it's flapping its wings. But Shaggy. But does it open the door for us? Yeah, the door. Th it opens the door, but it also basically smashes its machinery up against the top of the ceiling. All right, Shaggy, who was just taking a seat, chilling out, drinking his vodka, throws <laughs> the bottle at it. <laughs> That's your vote for throwing. It misses. He's too drunk. You you hit the ceiling. And the thing squeaks, and it starts to fly off. Well, um, I'm gonna roll to try to beat up Tina. And you broke down the wall with the explosion. And the gas is floating away, right? The uh, gas is gone. Tracking? This can lady Scooby is and I still tracking? panicking, and the next thing you see is through the wall... The same machete you guys saw earlier goes through her. Does it kill her? It gets her in the gut. And she she looks at the blade and she starts crying and just slides down. And you hear... Faker, Faker, Faker. And the person just keeps saying Faker over and over. And then you hear scurrying through the wall. Okay, Velma will roll medicine to try and save this lady's life. Okay. Okay, whoa. Scooby will play with her tits to comfort her. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah! And your fame has gone up because I rolled under a 15. So people see you as a heroic act. Wait a second, what about all my dynamite throwing? Dynamite throwings, when I rolled, you didn't get low enough rolls. Yeah, like, well, I, I've been you have to get under a 15 everything. for people to consider it heroic or something. What's my fame now, Daddy? Uh, it's gonna be increasing at the end of the game. Okay. But it's just, it's like, you know, you, you're you gonna get more fame than the others because you actually please the audience. And I saved her life. <laughs> right. Oh, fear well, not, honorable secretary, for I am here to save your cheating ass. I'm gonna do Oh, and it's very... He was divorced. It is a uh, very cool. difficult. Uh, please do not talk. Your mouth is is full of semen, and it just makes the dog <laughs> very uncomfortable. 
Alright, I'm gonna try and sneak around and catch the killer okay. while he's leaving. I will seduce the secretary. Oh, are, you, are you running into the other one? <laughs> yeah, I fail. And I'm right here. Okay, so you you ran and you saw the door swinging and a Which car one? speeding off. Which one? This door. Both of them, technically. Okay, wait a second. So I pull out one of my gadgets, mm -hmm. which I don't have any of. I take one of my fanfic books. I have two. And I throw it at the car. Okay. I'm just going to use this as the car, even though it's a red car. I missed. So, basically what you see is you throw the, the book at the car and you miss. And this red car speeds off, almost heading towards your house direction. It's my dad. I know it. <laughs> Alright. So, being the smart hotshot that I am, mm -hmm. I'm like, Yo! Let's go to my house. The secretary's being bandaged up and the paramedics arrive. It's okay. It's at this point that Freddy says, Let's split up. Daphne, um, you stay here with Velma. Me, Shag, and Scooby are going to go <laughs> to my house. But are you sure that's safe? Yes. Sco Scooby wants to stay with the girls. <laughs> Scooby, you can stay here. I'm going to take this stoner along. Okay. Um, before the paramedics cart off the secretary, can we get any information from her? Um, yeah, I will seduce her for information. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Basically, dog. she's very open about it. She says how... Um, she finally got Freddy's dad to admit to asking for help from Mystery Incorporated. And she goes on about, basically, the best way to do it is just doing it as Tina. Well, I finally convinced him to get people on the case, like you guys, who actually can solve things. Because we already know our sheriff's kind of mentally, uh, unstable. <laughs> So, um, yeah. And then he said we were going to stay here, and in the morning we would be safe to go home, because killers don't kill in the daylight. Supposedly they have no, you know, they don't want to be seen. Um, why, why were you guys accusing me of being the killer? Well, it is because the killer, we find out, also have uh, your same perfume and your same hair color. And also, I want to tell you that if you, if you, the reason your computer is so easy to break in is because you use not apricot computer. If you use apricot computer, your computer never break. But I use a WacuSoft. WacuSoft works all the time. Microsoft uh, never work ever. In fact, it installed many virus and Trojan on your computer and delete your pornography. The somehow Indian Velma says. Indian pornography. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> All right, so me and... So let so. me grab paramedics quickly for them. <laughs> so the paramedics there, he's taking care of her. And then Shaggy and Scooby have gone off to the house. Even though they're dancing again, I'm gonna move them to the side. Every time, every time I see them like change their flip upside down like that, I imagine them doing a bunch of kung fu flips. And all of a sudden, the bat comes back in from the room. Oh shit! And it doesn't notice you guys. It lands, and it's just kind of like stuck there, like you know. Like, as if it's short-circuiting, and she just goes, Mr. Jones, will you please get out of that stupid toy? And you see, because of the gas being off, which now people will laugh because they realize that this icon was really supposed to be in the game, <laughs> what you see him wearing to make money in the town is a Batman suit. <laughs> <laughs> And he's standing there with robotic rings, and he's going, Well, we should have made some money. Like, 
you know, people saw that bat flying around and putting a hole through this roof. And the paramedic looks at him and goes, did you really put people's lives in danger and get this woman hurt so you can make a few bucks? This town is built off mysteries. What, 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 what would be the problem with getting people hurt? And besides, I didn't hurt her. That was the blade. And, uh, you did the blade? Why would I stab the person I'm fucking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Well, Mayor, you are most dishonorable. Most dishonorable? What? I... So you guys can laugh, he puts his glasses on. <laughs> I punch him in the face because he put his glasses on. I'm going to move you for a second. <laughs> so, so roll me a punch in the face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I call him an it? asshole too. <laughs> Fuck. So when you go to punch him, he he kind of <laughs> looks confused, and you punch the metal again and hurt your hand. <laughs> and then he just removes the hurt, and he goes, "No, but uh, seriously, guys, um, you guys gotta stop solving all of these crimes. I I really need the money." You know how much what Fred is putting face? me into debt because of his damn university, and I'm going to go save the world by going to school? <coughs> yeah. Okay. College isn't cheap, you know. Okay, so Velma's going to come up to the front to say, uh, you wish we no solve crime anymore? Yes, I wish for you guys to stop interfering with my money schemes. Well, what you do for us, then, Velma says. Um, oh, God, we're on a new map. <laughs> I'm switching over to Freddy's. When, when she says, what do you do for us, he goes, well, I'll show you. And he unbuckles his pants. I also uh, unbuckle my pants. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear a zipper on Scooby's costume, and someone's like, dude, that's a man in a dog suit. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> okay, and Velma will uh, turn to her uh, agent, who I guess is probably off to the side watching this being filmed, and she's going to start yelling at her in Chinese. Okay, so like, we're, chasing, we're chasing after a mysterious assailant. So you guys get to your house, and you see the red cow out there. And you see your door flung wide open. Alright, so we're chasing after him. Mm -hmm. So when you're inside the house, you see everything is trashed, and in big red letters, it's uh, like paint. It says across your television set, stay away from my girl. So Shaggy just rolled for stealth, and he failed. Because okay. he's drunk. Shaggy makes a thud. And next thing you see is the lamppost falls over and shatters. <laughs> okay. Now I roll to sneak. Okay. And I win. Okay, so you sneak into your room. And... Or the whatever room you want to go in. It's either your room or the, the other room. My room. <coughs> and you found the bed is slit up with the blade. Like, there's no, bl the blade's not there, but it's clearly, it's the same weapon. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> and then, okay. I get to do a roll quickly. Nope. So, what do you do in the room? I am going to go to my computer. I hope that still works. Okay, and I'm roll me a stealth check. again. Wait, stealth? I have a computer skill. Well, a stealth when you're going to your computer. Okay. Because your computer, I'm guessing, is here. No. Okay. So when you are heading to your computer, see the success. Oh, and she succeeded critically. She got an O one. The killer comes running oh. out of the room and goes and stabs at you. Oh shit. Rip Shaggy. <laughs> okay. I'm and going. let's see. How much damage does the blade do? Because I forget the weapons.
I'm looking for the combat section. Come here. Combat. I have a bookmarked version of the PDF if you want it. <clears throat> yeah, that would help. Um, do you remember what the combat page was on? For the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me look at it. Uh, okay, Real 4 Weapons, page 27. PDF page 27. PDF page 27? Yeah. Um, let's see what we got okay. here. Okay. Uh, but hunting knife is like 10 plus hand to hand. She's using a cleaver. Okay. So she did 15 damage plus the ten, the HTH. What the hell is HTH again? Hand to hand, probably? Oh, it is hand to hand. Okay. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> so. What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't even see that. Oh. So she stabs me for how much damage? She stabs you for legit 21 damage. Okay, so I have 8 points left. I'm still alive, barely. Yep. If Using my awesome, awesome Freddy badassness, I tackle her. Okay. So Where you I tackle her, you pin her to the ground, and she... Wait, 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 I'm oh. not done. I didn't finish my action. Okay. I also light up the stick of dynamite, the last one. You light up the stick of dynamite? And I hug her. All of it. Yes, I succeed. <laughs> and the dynamite goes up. And she is gone. You oh, see the mask rolling. Um. Well, we're both dynamite gone. damage for your character. On top of gone. damage on her. I think you're both dead. Yes, we did. <laughs> 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 Let's see. I told you this would be the grimdark version of Scooby Doo. I have to go out in a bang, literally. Oh yeah, you're both dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shaggy, standing in the other room, hears the explosion since he was over there, <laughs> and pieces of Freddy's clothes with Freddy flatter onto him because it's a B-rate horror movie and for some reason everything hits him. Everything hits everyone. <laughs> and then he sees the mask rolling out and he sees Daphne's mother's head basically mashed to bits from the explosion. <laughs> Velma freaking called it. Velma knew right away. <laughs> Velma knew this. The next thing you see is a ghost floating out of her body for a second and you hear, All I wanted was to treat people equally. All serfs should not live in our town. And you don't deserve my daughter. You fucking meddling Me kid. Meddling kids. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Wait, do I get any heroic points for being Freddy? And let me do a roll to see... You get some people liking it. A lot of people, you, you've got about 50% going, oh, he, you know, he's a hero. And the other 50% is going, what? <laughs> what a cop out. The other 50% are like, what the fuck? Yeah, the other one's like, what a cop out. He didn't even realize who the murderer was. He just blew himself up with him. <laughs> oh, that's solving a mystery? <laughs> Wait, you should make many of copies of Freddy and just put them all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to jump quickly to the main map. Does anybody want to do anything before we go to the epilogue? Um, no. I want to buy some drugs and do a gangbang, possibly. <laughs> well, Shaggy's getting stoned again. Okay, so everybody's getting stoned. The group is mourning Freddy dying. Heading towards the graveyard, and these bastards show up. What are you doing with that dog? Yeah, it, that dog is being mistreated. It shouldn't have to walk on two legs. God damn it. Dude, I punched I, them I, in the face. I think, <laughs> I think that dog is a man wearing a dog suit. Oh, oh. and then all of a sudden when you, start, when you go after them to punch them, they all start screaming and just running away, screaming, You don't mistreat the animals! <laughs> and it's like, oh, great, Peter. 
Took care of that. <laughs> You're all the D1000. <laughs> 10,000, actually. <laughs> okay, so now we get to jump over to the graveyard. Yes, I have anything plotted out, even if people died. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very sad, very, very sad. I'm trying to put That's... Freddy on the tombstone, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I like how now Freddy upside down makes actual sense because he's literally face off. I can't, how come I can't rotate this fucking thing? God damn it. You keep changing shit. Oh, because my stuff messed up. I see what happened. I have to click away from them now, like, to the left, because it messed up on it. So everybody's mourning the death of poor old Freddy Prince Jones. What about my twin brother? Hmm? What about my twin brother? <laughs> Thelma is going to throw herself on the tombstone and be like, Oh, I secretly love him. Why I not tell him? I, I love her all my fan fiction books. <laughs> oh, he know I love fan fiction. And Velma points at Daphne and it's like, he loved me more than you do. He loved Daphne, me more than he Daphne's ever loved you. Crying. She's like, I lost my boyfriend and my mother in the same explosion. Oh, uh, you are the most dishonorable woman. She killed people. She killed people. I take advantage love. of her. <laughs> Say Shaggy. hey, baby. It's all right. You guys see um, Scrappy Doo walking by? Fuck him. <laughs> he looks at you guys. He looks I punch him in the face. And you see him ready to explode. And he sips the beer in his hand, crushes it on his forehead, and he goes, You all a bunch of fucking... And it cuts. <laughs> Beautiful. Great movie, guys. <laughs> that was a failure. That was great. Hey, at least you solved the mystery. <laughs> <laughs> I just killed her. Now what happens after the movie's over? Do we get to see our ratings? <laughs> yep, I'm jumping you over to the actual um, Crystal Cold page for us to do the ratings. Sweet. And then I get to do a roll for the ratings. See how many people liked it. Oh wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> so for your first show, half of the audience really enjoyed it. Enough that you guys actually got signed on again for another film. Sweet. Uh, most dope. critics gave you a 67. Hey, that's better than a... Uh, that's that's critics, that's not fans. Most fans... Of all the sexual content I put in. <laughs> ...gave you an 82. What is this, what? fans? Gave us 82? Like, mo just people voting online versus okay. people, like, being like, Well, it didn't have this, and I get paid to sit on my ass and watch videos... Isn't Dude, that people... right, Ernie and Bert? Fucking... Guys, to tell you the truth, I think our we got a better rating than Gravity did. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I just keep throwing more explosives. <laughs> so rounding it up, that's the rating for the episode. Sweet. Nice. And then people loved Velma for being... A hero. A hero? Hero? A hero! And nobody really cared that you were Asian. <laughs> Good! So I was seeing if people were gonna really hate it or really like it, and it was just kind of like 50. It was like, nope, nope, 51, no. <laughs> it's like, yeah, she's Asian. What else? For cool. the twist, which really wasn't too big of a twist, because it'll. They, they all just <laughs> sniffing. <laughs> People gave it Yeah People saw the twist coming <laughs> Velma called it <laughs> Velma called Way it back... at the beginning of the film Yeah Velma was on top of this shit man Velma 
Oh, I found my picture for my character. For the actress. Oh, her. Yeah. Now, what about the uh, product placement? The product placement? That netted you guys... Holy crap. I wrote a 7. Um, so, the industry made so much money that they can up you guys basically into the next rank of fame. Ooh. So, you guys pretty much went from level 10... Again? To, let's double check. Trying to find uh, the leveling pot. Uh, let me take a look. Uh, the director's section starts at page 33. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. Not in the director's section, so it's probably wait, wait. Canned. It's uh, where is it? It's probably at character creation. No, where did I see this? Well, maybe it is at the end of character creation. Let me take a look. I'm skinning through the PDF right now. Talents. No, it's not there. Where was this? I saw this just a second ago. Products, wardrobe. There's the talents, where's the fame? We'll probably say it right in fame. about me punching the shit out of everything. <laughs> well, we're trying to find in the PDF where the heck the, uh... The increase of uh, fame is. Yeah. Now, we should have rolled Terror. That would something that could have been funny. Well, I rolled Terror. Oh, you did? Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, because the only person really scared of the dead bodies is Daphne. Everyone else is kind of oh, like, eh, we do this. <laughs> oh, I thought you were just RPing that. I didn't know that was an actual thing. Yeah, I was rolling. Yeah, man, I cannot find the, I cannot find the uh, character advancement thing in this entire freaking book. <laughs> Plot twist: there isn't. You know, you don't, you don't advance. So it looks like it's really the choice of the um, director. Of how many fame points you get. And fame points are pretty important, so I would say every that everyone got five, but um, Freddy would get eight, and Velma would get ten instead of Sweet. five. You know the usual five. Okay, so I go up to fame twenty. Yep. Sweet. Then you go up to eighteen. You go up to eighteen, and everybody else goes up fame by five. All right, and then we get our next our dice to upgrade our characters. Yep, you get uh, what is it, ten d ten? I think. Yeah, ten. That's what the chair gen says. Yeah, it would say it on the character sheet too. Awesome. Yeah, on um, ten d ten for completing the story. And then let's see if the people like the advertisements, especially the cameos. Mm, they expected it. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I didn't mean to roll twice, I thought I was rolling. It's fine. Up there. I'll use the first one. So pretty much we finished doing the handouts of the lo of the characters for like leveling. We went through everything on how the story was with the epilogue. And then we would roll the credits for the video, which First things first, let's put the ratings on and show the criminal who is dead. 
Kind of looks like the Joker. That's creepy. All right. Sweet. Is that it? Screeching up and now you hear the wind begin to howl. You know the zombies not the prowl. And it's terror time of year. They got you running through the night. It's terror time of year. Or you just might die of fright. It's a terror. Setting my stuff on there. Alright. And then so. at the end of the credits, you see Scrappy come walking over to the dead body. And then he kicks it. Uh, basically, the next thing you see is he goes for the pants and it cuts. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And you, you, just hear, you just hear Scrappy going, You think you're a real tough guy, huh? 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 Oh, because you have boobs, you think you're nothing. Ah. <laughs> He's like in a crazy cocaine rage. One thing I noticed about this game is that there doesn't seem to be like an actual uh, spot or listen or anything like that. Well, that's what perception. Uh, isn't that perception? Is there a perception? I see research. Oh, no, where is it? Writing, screaming, sound language, language cooking, construction. <laughs> yeah, I've got explosives 100 now. Oh my god. God, did you put like, all your dice into explosives? Yeah, all except one because I couldn't fit it. He wants to be a Hollywood actor, guys. <laughs> I put all mine in acting so I could basically have sex with anybody I want. <laughs> I think even though there's no limit in the book, I think we're going to limit it to 80. 80? Oh. So you can put like the 20 points in something else because you rolled it. But when there's, we're not gonna have any skills at a hundred. Okay. Because then that's there's a no fail. <laughs> well, there's a one percent fail. Okay. You know what I mean? I'll take the ten dice off. Leave it or the two ten dice off. Mm -hmm. Put it over here. I'll put it on acting instead. Actually, put it in stealth. <laughs> so but yeah, so there, there's not really like a uh. uh a perception, though, that I see. Oh, wow. Well. Daphne got some shitty rolls. I just called it Daphne. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys available during the week? I work most of the week, and I have other games. Okay. Yeah, Sunday's a busy day for me, because I got two games, but they're both tight. Well, actually, I'm not going to be here next Sunday, so, you know. I think I'm just going to add that all to Persuasion. <laughs> to make it a 77. Yeah. I wonder if this is one of those games where like, you can break it just by like having real good Persuasion. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to start a campaign over here once some random people join. Now, do oh, all... and that would uh -oh. max it to 82 because of the 5 points on uh, Fame. Okay, so I guess that our uh, our um, our stuff like our brain and build that never changes, just our skills. Right. Okay, yeah. that's cool. That seems yeah, to be stay the same, but it's your talents that increase it, that increase the chances, you know. Yeah, yeah, I see. What you're saying. Yep. But yeah, so. Maybe I'll start an iron. When campaigns. the game ends, it would do the credits, which we. Which would be that song, <laughs> and then it would cut to a shot of the a shot. I just call it short. <laughs> it's technically a short of Damana sitting there at the computer screen. 
I have never tried something like this. Well, all right, guys. Is that? That's it. That's it. So that's a wrap. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed the show. It's. I did. It's yeah, that's great.